So in this recording, we're going to show you how to create a Google map and place all your prospects on that map. What you want to do first is log into your Google account. Make sure you're logged in by seeing that you have an account under here. Then you're going to come here to the Google Apps. Scroll down till you find Maps. It will open up your Maps page. Then right here under Menu, click on that. We're going to scroll till you get to your places here. If you have saved um, locations, you will have them. You will see all of your locations saved right here. You will scroll over to Maps. These are test maps that I've done, but just so you can see all the different maps that you can have saved. You're going to create a map by scrolling all the way to the bottom where it says Create Map. This will bring you a brand new map. You're going to select the map right here. If you hover over it, you click on it. You can edit the name of the map. Let's say we're going to call this Prospects. And if we want to date it, um, 7, 1. You could add a description here, our prospects, and click on Save. Next, it will save layers for you of different types of maps, all in your own personal map. So let's say you wanted to start doing your prospect list and start with um, certain categories like pediatricians or orthodontics or um, daycares or anything like that. You can select different layers here or add different layers. So for this purpose we're going to start adding let's say pediatricians and we're going to select again hover your mouse over untitled layer rename that la that layer pediatricians and click on save now you have a map layer called pediatrician now we want to start adding locations to your map your search bar is right on the top you're going to type in pediatricians in your location so mine is Homestead, Florida. I would click on location and open. This will bring you a list of different locations and all of the pediatricians in that area. What you would do next would be select that pediatrician that you would like to add to your own personalized map. Click on it and it will bring up the information here. On this little plus icon here, click on that and that would be added to your map right now. Now this is perfect if you wanted to add some notes on here, um, any notes that you would like. If you already checked into uh, LinkedIn and you want to add the general manager or the office manager, decision makers, anything like that, you would click on edit your notes right here. And you can add that information. Office manager Susie Q and click on Save. This also gives you the ability to add images, directions if you would like, edit again for putting your notes in, and it lets you edit your pin. Right now my pin is set to a default blue, but let's say I wanted all pediatricians to be in yellow, I would just highlight or select a yellow. So now all of my pediatricians that I'm going to select would be in yellow. This is very helpful when you have multiple layers of different businesses and you want to be able to click on and off the layers and be able to see that all yellow pertains to pediatricians, all blues pertain to let's say orthodontics and so on. You could also change the icon and instead of having a little pin it could actually be an icon for different things. So you could explore that and select more icons. I find it easier just to change the pin color but you can do whatever with the, your, your different icons. So right now this added this one pediatrician to my list right here. You see him right here. We're going to go through again and add a few more. I'm not going to add any notes to these just so, to uh, move this video along but you could select it here. It added another one here. I'm going to change again my style to yellow so they could all be yellow. I'm going to add this one here. Add another one here. A note if I wanted office manager 
and put that information on here, save, and go back here, select the color, and back to yellow again. Once you have done this with multiple different um, pediatricians or, or it could be whatever um, list you have, um, you would click on, it, it automatically saves this. But in order for this to um, be shareable, you would click on share right here. This gives you a nice little share screen. It gives you the link. It's only ac accessible to the collaborators. Right now I have it set to private. You could also invite people in your organization right here to that map and it would send them an email. Um, you could let them edit and, and uh, add um, locations to your map and if you don't want that just make sure that you click on prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. That, that makes sure that no one else can add um, other uh, competitors later on or anything like that to that Google map. And then you would select done and it would send out that email. Now let's say you wanted to take a look and see who you had on your uh, list. You would select on preview. This gives you a nice preview over here of who you have selected and you can see that the locations are in yellow. If you had multiple lists here you can um, highlight and uh, click on and off and turn off those layers to be able to see them. This is great also because it opens it in a new window here so you can go back to your map here again. And this is another way to add um, more individualized layers. So once you're done here, you could click on add another layer and it's gonna give you a untitled layer right here. Click on that layer again, change that to orthodontics. Click save. Now you have two layers here. This again will give you the ability to do another search for orthodontics in your area. Giving you that list here again. You do the same thing. You go through, select them, add them to your map here, or add uh, or change your, your location pin to different color. Again, the style to a different color. You can do that, add your notes, all that. So now you have two. Let's say you had multiple ones and you had six of them. Well, what happens is once you see these are clicked right here, these would all show up in your preview. When you go to your preview screen, you'd be able to see all the different layers that you have. If I wanted to just look at orthodontics, I unclick that uncheck it and here you go you've got your two orthodontics. If you wanted to look at all of them on the map you'd be able to see all those. Pediatricians you'd be able to see those. So this works out great to really uh, go out and, and take a look and see who is in your local area. You could zoom into the map, you could zoom out of the map. Um, it gives you a nice uh, overview of where you're at. Um, it's, it's able to also if you wanted to um, check and see the distance from things. Um, these are map uh, different tools that you have here. You can measure the distance in different areas. Um, it could let you add a marker if you already know a location. Maybe it's not just showing up on your on your Google search. So this is a great tool to be able to to have all the individualized maps on here. What's great about this is that all of this is saved to your Google Drive. So once you collect uh, select right here on Google Drive, you're able to go back to your Google Drive and it would have the um, items that you've actually saved on here uh, within your drive. So right here this is my prospects that I created today. You could click on, click on that and it always saves it. It's always up to date. You can share that link with your team. It's a valuable tool for your organization. Thank you very much.